Hello family, welcome back to another video with me, Cynthia. Thank you for tuning in with me today. If it's day for you or if it's night for you, wherever you are. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I wanna thank all my subscribers for subscribing to my channel and just rocking with me. Um, yeah, um, look, let me be the first to say, numbers are numbers. That's what they are, they're numbers. Some of them hold high expectancy and some of them don't. With my subscriber number right now, I am happy as I can be. Sometimes the enemy tries to throw in darts and, and make you feel like just because your subscriber number is um, not like others, well, guess what? Our platform is different. Everybody's platform is different. I thank God for the subscribers that I have, and I am a firm believer that everybody has their own tribe. Everybody has people that they're drawn to, and I get that because that's how I began when, before I started my platform, I connected with other people, and this is how I began my channel. You know, God, God started to deal with me on some level, and here I am. So once again, if you have started a new channel, I'm new myself, but let me be a motivation to you. Look, don't stop no matter what those numbers say. Don't stop no matter how many times or the times that you see somebody um, unsubscribe to your channel. Don't stop. You keep on going. For every subscriber or every two or three subscribers that you lose, imagine the ones that you are gained. That's just the enemy trying to get you off of your game. But don't do that. You keep right on trucking like you got a million subscribers and you're talking to millions and billions and trillions of people. This is how I treat my platform. And yeah, it gets difficult. It gets a little hard. But guess what? It's supposed to be. But don't you give up. Remember, slow progress is still progress. Thank you, Father. So without further ado, let me get into this video, which is a little bit of what um, I just said prior to what this video is about. The truth will set you free. You, have you ever heard of a cliche term growing up and you thought it was just something that older people would say <laughs> because they've got a lot of sayings. I've heard a lot. Some my mom has said, some she's made up on her own. And sometimes when I'm fiddling around in the house, my daughter will say, you know, you just sound like your mama, right? And it tickles me to the core. And it's also love that I feel towards my mom in that moment. But let me keep on going before I start crying. Um, yeah, the truth will set you free. So when I captivated that cliche term, it tackled me. It held me down. It wouldn't let me go. The truth will set you free doesn't necessarily mean Oh, I'm going to tell the truth today. When that bill collector called back, I'm going to tell him or her the truth. I'm going to tell them the truth. You know I'm silly again. Um, the term, the truth will set you free, means being honest with yourself. Being truthful with yourself. That is the real meaning of the truth will set you free. This has nothing to do with anyone else, but everything to do with you. When you're honest with yourself, you learn more. It's like your whole, it's like a, a whole part of your world opens and allows you to walk in. Some things that you have to accept that you don't want to accept. Some things you have to learn that you have to relearn. It's a lot to that term. The truth will set you free, but I promise you it's a beautiful thing. It has been for me time and time again. When you accept the truth about things and you've accepted it and you've learned from it, your life changes. You change. I'm, I'm here to tell you. I, I'm standing here right now today to tell you your life changes. And it makes things so much easier when you can accept the truth. Not just that. You can learn how to accept constructive criticism it helps it helps a lot in a lot of areas constructive criticism for a lot of us 
it's kind of difficult to accept, especially coming from somebody that you don't know, you don't accept it so well. But then when you think about it later on in the day or later on in the night or however you think about it, there's some truth in it, no matter how it comes out. You're not going to tell that person. They might not tell you, but there's a way to come at somebody when you're giving constructive criticism. No, you don't have to bottle feed people because you don't bottle feed adults. Now, you may bottle feed um, babies or young kids or teenagers. That's what I call the bottle feeding stages. But as, as, as you get out of that, it's time to stop bottle feeding. You can't, you, can't, you can't do that because that's enabling. I did a video, I did, I did a short, um, a couple of videos down. Well, it, it will be a couple of videos down about um, enabling. Enabling is not a good thing. It is not. And I had to learn that back in my younger years, like in my 20s, because I was spoiled. I didn't... Let me let me explain that. I was spoiled by everybody except the person that I wanted to be spoiled by and I needed to be spoiled by. But later on in my videos, I will explain more and you will understand more. But just it's just not this time. That person that I needed to spoil me didn't. It was everybody else around me. And 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 don't get it twisted. I spoiled myself too. Because I've always worked, got what I wanted, got what I needed. I did that at a very young age. So I, I was spoiled both ways. And um, back to the subject at hand, the truth will set you free. It will. One day at a time. Let the truth set you free so you can live the life that you need to live for you. Because I'm doing that as we speak. I love the life I'm in. I love my life right now. I love how God is loving on me through my challenges, through anything that I'm going through. I love how he's loving on me. He lets, he nudges me and he lets me know, look, get out of that. Get up, put, put your big girl pants on, put your big girl shirt on or whatever you got you need to put on, put it on and come on and let's go. We ain't finna sit in that. That's not who you are. So let's get up and move. He did that to me last night. He did that to me last night. And that's the relationship that I have with him. And I, that's, man, get you one. Get you a relationship with God so that you can live a life more freely. This is my best friend. Best friend, best friend, best friend. We laugh. You know how some of those, you know how some, what happened? I think the, uh, a couple of nights ago, and I was getting in the shower, <laughs> and I hit my knee on the tub, and it hurt. I was like, oh, my God. I couldn't laugh at the moment like I'm laughing now because it hurt. So once I got inside the shower, oh, my God, I couldn't stop laughing. I was laughing uncontrollably. And those are the, that's the relationship I'm talking about. That one right there. Yeah. It wasn't so funny when it happened, but afterwards it was funny. But, um, let the truth set you free. I love you family. And I'll talk to you later.